If you have your motorcycle stolen, as I had mine, don't count on the insurance company. Recently, particularly this one that I'm dealing with, is a state-mandated, state-ran and state-managed insurance company. They operate under the principle of guilty until proven innocent. Now, normally it would be the other way around that a client or a customer is innocent until proven guilty. Standard issue material. However, these people operate on the reverse of it. The customer is always wrong until, it's prove, until he or she is proven to be true. This is what happened to me. I had a 650 cc V-Strom parked outside there and one day it was stolen. Three days before it was stolen though, somebody in a parking lot uh, knocked it over, it fell and uh, was a kind gentleman and uh, left uh, a business card or uh, a note on the bike uh, stating that, uh, uh, sorry I knocked your bike over, I didn't see whatever, uh, here's my contact info. Excellent stuff. As a consequence of that little incident, I had some uh, damage on the uh, left side of the bar bike, the handlebar, mirror, handguard on the 650 V-Strom, uh, whatnot, cosmetic damage. Uh, the handlebar was uh, bent, so that would be a structural issue, but hey, it's easy to replace a handlebar. You can get it done in, I don't know, half an hour if you're taking your time. So anyhow, I take my stuff to ICBC. And uh, this is what the insurance company is uh, saying. How is that possible that my bike was stolen while it was damaged and halfway under repair from a previous th three days before incident? And I said, I don't know, but it is stolen. It was there and now it is not. So that makes it stolen. And. Uh, you know, they just wouldn't believe my story because they just couldn't get their heads wrapped around it. Why would anybody steal a motorcycle that's, uh, that has uh, minor cosmetic damage? The interesting thing again in it, that the customer is guilty and the customer is not believed until the customer is proven right. Now, the insurance company doesn't pay out anything until uh, 90 days. They have a 90 day uh, period that the police may find a vehicle. Alas, on the 83rd day, the police did recover my stolen vehicle. It was found locally among, uh, among uh, other vehicles uh, in a, I guess, in a minor organization, stealing bikes and uh, uh, gutting it out and uh, selling parts out of some amateur hour adventure. But until the 83rd day, uh, the insurance company didn't say that uh, they would be willing to pay. In fact, they said that they denied my claim until, thank God, it was found on the 83rd day, police recovered it. But uh, bottom line, one, don't get anything stolen. So lock it up, bolt it to the pavement, whatever you can do. Two. Shouldn't somebody in power revise the insurance company's, uh, say, uh, attitude or internal beliefs? Because I don't think it's within normality that the customer is guilty and is not believed until he is proven right by some freak miracle.